Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to talk about something very important. It's something that students do struggle with. That's just because you haven't practiced it enough. So here are the question saying, where is f of x? Okay, so f of x, don't let that put you off. That just means the green graph, so we'll just say green. Then this means bigger than, so where is green bigger than pink? That's actually all we're saying here. So they want to know where's the green, where's the green graph above the pink graph. So what we're going to do is, let's look at this part over here. Which graph is higher up over there? Well, that's the pink graph. So we're not interested in that. We want to know where the green graph is higher up. So can you see that in this interval over here, can you see that from this point up to this point over here, the green graph is higher up. Can you see that? The green graph is higher, the green graph is higher, the green graph is higher, and the green graph is higher. Then at this point, they switch over. So now the green graph is underneath the pink graph. Can you see that? Okay, so the first point where the green graph is higher is from minus 315 degrees. So we can say x is an element between minus 315 up to this point over here, which is minus 135 degrees. That's when the green graph was on top. Then over here, the green graph is underneath, the green graph is underneath. Now, all of a sudden, after this point, the green graph is on top again. Have a look at that. It's on top, it's on top, it's on top. So we can say or, and then we can say from 45 degrees up to this point over here, which is 225, because then after that, look at this, the green graph is underneath. So when they ask you where's the green graph above the pink graph, they just want to know where the green graph is on top. So it would look something like that. So can you see over here from this point to this point, the green graph is on top. But if we have something like this, whoop, wrong color, then we can see that the green graph is underneath. Okay, it's not above. So that's the type of places that we're looking for. Then, Kevin, why did you not include these points? Why are you using round brackets over here, over here, over here, and over here? Because at these individual little dots that I've used, so this dot here, this dot over here, and this dot here, at that those points, the green graph is not above the pink graph. Because at those points, the two graphs are exactly the same. So you can't say that the one is above the other. So they strictly asked us, where's the green above? Okay, so that's why I didn't include the boundary points. If, however, they said, where is the green graph bigger than and equal to the pink graph, then I would have included these points because then at those points, the two graphs are equal to each other. Here's another practice question. So they're saying, where is g of x? Now this means smaller than. So where is g of x smaller than f of x? Okay, and if you ever struggle with what does this thing even mean? Well, think of that as a little Pac-Man. Okay, now that Pac-Man is hungry. So that Pac-Man always likes to eat the biggest thing. So if we have a situation like this where the Pac-Man is definitely trying to eat f of x, it means that f of x is the bigger thing. So f of x is bigger than g of x, or you could say g of x is smaller than f of x. So we want to know where g of x is smaller than f of x. Now what smaller means mathematically is beneath. Now g of x is the pink one. So where is the pink one below the white graph. From here to here, we can see that the pink graph is above. So we're not interested in that. But from this point to this point, we can see that the pink graph is below. Okay, so that's what we want. We want the pink graph to be below. We want it to be smaller. So we can say that x is an element going from minus 180 to zero. Then this part over here, the pink graph is on top again. But then from here, the pink graph goes below. So now we have pink graph below. So then we can say or 180 to 360. Once again, we're not going to include the boundary positions because they didn't say smaller than and equal to, they said smaller than. Okay, so you've got to be careful with that.